Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We're going to be watching The Dragon Prince today. Oh, God. Yay. Storm here. Mom here. Kimmy here. We are on episode four of season four. Okay. Oh, and they have a challenge ahead of them. I yeah. guess his last yeah. words. Mm hmm. I really love Ezrin, and for being so young, he is wise. I mean, he learned so much through previous adventures, and he learned a lot from his father and mother. Well, he didn't mm -hmm. really know He's his mom that much because yeah. she died really, you know, when he was really young. But mm -hmm. Hero did teach him a lot, and him talking to Zubeya was pretty impressive. It was, because exactly. he knows what it's like to not have parents growing up and heartache and, you know, the sorrow that people are feeling and how she's feeling as well. So It's a cycle of death, a cycle of revenge and hate, and mm -hmm. it's tied tightly, you know, with Ezrin and the Dragon Queen. I mean, her husband, um, mm -hmm. Ezrin's father... You know, them right. killing each other. That's right. Um, and the cycle just keeps going and going, and it's just heartbreak. It's devastating. So they have to... They have to stop it. They have to stop it. And when Ezra and Callum and Rayla saved Zim, brought him back to his mom, that was the mm -hmm. first huge step it for was. peace. Really yeah. To find some common ground, you know. Um, and having that struggle of Catalis... A lot of people are unhappy having the Dragon Queen there or trying to have any alliance to Zadia, you know, right. to and the having magic. it right there, having the ceremony right there where their their loved ones are buried, you That's know, on top of it. So but this, you know, that really got them together, that speech was wonderful. But now we have, you know, you know, something new lurking you know, up to them, a new challenge. They have to get together and, and Stop this! Mm -hmm. oh, you know they have to watch yeah. out because yeah, Erebos is gonna. Be careful. Oh, yeah, Erebos. Oh, yeah, because he's yeah. pretty dangerous. We've seen what he yeah. could do before, and, we don't and that's know not what even he his physical now form. If he does get out, I know because yeah. we haven't seen him in physical yeah. form yet, so exactly. I can't even imagine how dangerous he's gonna be. If and that Claudia happens. has no idea. She has no idea what she's getting herself into. So. She's just that's obsessed right. about her dad, and that's it. She just wants daddy alive, so it's dangerous. Doesn't care. Shall we get into this episode? Yes, let's do it. Yes. Let's do it. We need more stand-up. Mm -hmm. Stand-up <laughs> comedy. <laughs> that was always fun. <laughs> Soren did great. And we're watching on Netflix, 404. <laughs> 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 to open the chrysalis, <laughs> we need your staff. <laughs> Over my dead body. Mm. Uh, literally. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Breaths. <sighs> well, at least he got the message out. Yes, yes. that's for sure. Oh, it's Callum this time. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, with Erebos' cube. Mm. My next puppet. Oh boy. Uh -oh. I like that with the falling star right through. Yep. Yo. I'm afraid this can only mean one thing. The fallen star has returned. Was that? That was Ibis, the great sky mage. You fought beside him at the storm spire. How could you not remember? I do Give me a remember. second to speak. Just wasn't sure his name. I'm afraid it's time for me to return to mine. Wait, please don't go yet. If the fallen star is a danger the whole world will face, this is a chance to solve our problems together. Zim, where'd you go? Yeah, where is he? He was just oh, here. Boy. Oh, he's been so willful lately. <laughs> Zim, oh, boy. I'll find him and bring him back. Yeah, that comes in handy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, with those oh, scary I'm wings. <laughs> Be a fire bat. Okay. We should Still all get sad. some rest. At dawn, we cast the spell to open the chrysalis. Oh, he's too afraid to touch yeah. it. Yeah, he is. Soul flame burning in the dark. Guide her through the night. The whole camp will catch fire. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you have to go. Go with 
adventure. Yeah. Oh wow. Adventure. Oh, <laughs> no one will try to kill you like <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> the kingdom will be in good hands. Ezrin. <laughs> I call them brown sludge tarts. Oh gross. <laughs> This isn't going to be <laughs> Is like it brown that sugar? bread you made that only Bait liked. Oh, he's what? happy. Hey, Maybe he's it's happy. just for him. <laughs> yeah, look at somebody else try it first. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Rayla, what are you waiting for? Oh, come I with us. I didn't know if you wanted me to come. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I think oh, I have <laughs> Ibis said the fallen star. I have something that might be important. It's a mirror. Soren, I need your help. If he's getting his mirror, I'm gonna get my toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm He doesn't know what kind of mirror. Open flames are off limits. My mother passed away today. <gasps> this is Aww. a spirit flame. It has to burn through the night. I stay awake all night until the dawn. No. Yeah, because they can no. control fire. Everyone's lives because of your superstition. No, 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 oh, no. no That's being very disrespectful. That. I think this mirror is connected somehow to the evil returning to the world. We need to bring it with us to the storm spire. Callum, I, I know you love magic, but it can change people. <laughs> he has no problem. Flexio! <laughs> that was great. <gasps> oh, you can't, uh, you can't leave Ben. <laughs> Let me know. Let us look at it. Ah, Bate, you're the best. Is that a scarf? <laughs> oh, it is. Poor Soren, he's held on to the mirror, but nothing <laughs> else. <laughs> ah, and I'm pretty sure it's catching all wind. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. His name is Erevos. And yes, he was a star. One of the great ones. Mm. Respected and loved by all. Luna lacked a suitable heir. And the other arch dragons fought bitterly over who should ascend in her place. Queen Aditi, mm. step in to broker peace. But Janai's but uh, before grandmother. she could bring peace yeah. to the world, chaos and confusion erupted, and war threatened to tear Zadia apart. A young human girl Katara. uncovered a great <laughs> secret of history. A dangerous deceiver was revealed. Uh -oh. Erevos had been pulling invisible strings like a puppet master. It was secretly Erevos mm. whispering in their ear. Huh? Now it's oh, her. Boy, yes. Oh, oh is he crying? Yeah. He was a mage. A skywing elf. Doesn't even care. And, and he was going to take Claudia's life. I had no choice. It's truly new. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. There is an aching pain mixed with love that you feel in these moments. Okay. In the name of love, you may perform acts so unforgivable. Please, I need to know. She's gonna say something mean. Get a grip. <laughs> Get a grip, suck it up. That's it. <laughs> and move on. Uh -oh. Put the flame out. Oh, this is so terrible because oh, his mom died. I don't like how she's huh. doing disrespectful on his. He's gonna think her spirit won't make it to. Oh no! Come on. Oh jeez. Uh oh. Oh boy. What was that? Ooh. Oh no. Oh. Ooh. Say. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, really good hands. hands. He didn't mean to go that far. He didn't realize. Was able to give them something they wanted very badly. Who had an insatiable thirst and fascination with magic. Yeah. Erevos could oh, offer them access. Our adversary was literally a being from the heavens with mm. vast and mysterious powers. We could not let on that we knew of his crimes and treachery. We had to conspire and plot and deceive this deceiver meant to hold this villain. That's cool. It's like a water elf, potion elf. Part of its power is that no one knows where it is. Not mm. one of them had the complete picture. Mm. That's cool. So do we get to see the other arch dragons on each other? Looking glass. We're here. Ah, uh, this was gonna say that mirror. Hey, there's someone on the pinnacle. Oh, it's gonna be Ibis. Aww. Nope. Oh, he's <laughs> now eat your vegetables. Yeah. I'll eat my vegetables now. 
I really wanted more for his character. That uh, sucks. Yeah. Ibis was more than a great mage. He was a great friend. Well, she just told him the story, so. Mm -hmm. I never knew what it was or whose it was until now. The looking glass is enchanted and linked to an identical mirror within the magical prison. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, sleepyheads. It's Jeez. dawn, and that means it's spell time. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Are you so afraid of it? Yeah. Don't do it. A little sunlight won't be a problem. <laughs> she can just walk in. Yeah. Ooh, our magic. Um, I am a storm dragon. <laughs> I certainly hope it's working. <laughs> Not second, third, or fourth light. <laughs> First. Uh, 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 He's not ready. I didn't even know it could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia really knows it. Shh! You guys be quiet. Cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right at the same time. Oh no. I'm out. I see you. We can watch them walk right out. Start yeah. smiling. Uh -oh. <gasps> oh, he's getting oh, to Oh my gosh. And you can't do anything what? about it. Oh crap. Oh jeez. jump. Oh, oh my god! No, Ooh, that's no. creepy. That is creepy. You're my puppet. This is bad. This is so uh -oh. bad. Oh, jeez. What's it gonna be? Is that oh, good to do? A mini Erebus. Oh, um, he's being all casual. Zubaya. Yeah, it is. Ooh, haven't Ooh. aged a bit. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, They're nothing but pathetic children. The whining child king. Hang <laughs> over his head. The failed son. Whose father wishes he had never been born. He knows all of it. Oh, yes. He's so mean. Aww. Aww, Aww babe. Baby. It's like I got you. <laughs> My hands. Unless you said it. Literally, so. Ew. Yeah, it's like gave birth. Yeah. Ew. It would be beautiful. <laughs> we don't know how to take that. I'll just wait here. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Oh, you won't be needing that anymore. Wow, that was oh, it. That was actually pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> not good. No, that was not good. To be so powerful to sure. go through Callum like that. Oh, yeah. For his like... message is so... Wow. The keys. It's terrible. Jeez. Oh, and a broken mirror. Oh, it's so cute, bait with a scarf. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yum yum. He likes that. Oh yeah, see, you're literally my yeah. puppet. Yeah, that's right. That kind of hurts. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, not good. Oh, no, it isn't good. So the first image we saw um, in the ending credits, where that woman was in a cloak and she had keys around her neck. I don't know who that is. I wonder if that's like foreshadowing something yeah, that something we will in the see, future, yes. or maybe something in the past. But I don't recall what it was. But I think there might be something new. Yeah. Um, yeah so as we know, Erebos is bad news. It sure is. Yeah, oh he's gosh. out of his chrysalis, and you know, I'm really worried that even Claudia is going to say, "What have I done now?" Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. And just a reminder, what came out of that cocoon is not Erevos, but what is it? Right. You know, like that's right. one of his minions or right. something. Right, because he he's still like in, in, encased, you know, in his Still in his cell. mirror. Yeah, yeah, he's still in there. In his prison. Right. Um, and so. Claudia said that whatever's in the cocoon isn't Erevos, but it's our guide or something. So mm -hmm. I'm curious. It has really long, mangled-looking fingers. Does, yes. Beautiful wings. Yes, yeah, the wings oh, are beautiful. <laughs> they are mm -hmm. very pretty, but... 
We didn't see the front, front side of it yet. I know. <laughs> That's right. Uh, That's what we're going to have to do. Won't be, be as pretty. <laughs> I don't think but so. But I like Erevos' character, and I like having that interaction with him. I don't expect anything less. I am surprised, mm. although we know he's very powerful, but how quick he was able to take control over Callum, yeah, who I know he has a lot to learn, but he is an excellent mage so far and the first of his kind to actually, you know, um, work with an Arcanum or multiples um, being a human and not using dark magic. So here he was easily taken over by Erevos through a freaking mirror while he's in prison. Yes, yes. and he did, make, yes. he did make mention that, um, you know, he is entranced by dark magic, but... I don't think Callum under realizes that, you know, he's trying to find out what's going on with the book, with the ink, you know, I don't think he realized that he was touching on it. Yeah. And it's been a while since we saw the first few seasons, but, um, in the beginning, Callum only knew dark magic. So he did use dark magic yes. now and again. Right. And um, every time but he used currently. it, he started to change a little bit like Claudia, mm-hmm. where, you know, it, it, no, he only used it once, I think, or maybe twice. But when he used it, he got really sick um, and he almost died or something. Right. And, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, he had all these visions um, and then he connected to the Arcanum the Sky Arcanum, and that's how he uh, was able to come back, and he was then connected to it, which was really cool to see. But yeah, I think um, that darkness, you're always tempted by it, and it's part of him now because he already tried dark right, magic so, at one yeah. So even point. long, long ago, even him trying it long time ago, it's coming back to bite him now because... I think it never truly yeah, left him, and yeah. maybe because it's like True. that's the only thing that humans have known is mm-hmm. to use dark magic, and even... Mm-hmm. You know, good people have used it and had the excuse of, well, this is the only way we could use magic, like the magical creatures of Zadia, you know. So, yeah, so I think that will be a struggle. It made me think of Anakin, you know, where he was yeah, a good guy definitely. and he was taken over by evil. I'm Even hoping Aaron, Kel you know, go that way. He was, he was good at one point and now, you know, he was taken over by it. Mm-hmm. And even so much now into Claudia. Claudia is like full on. Yeah, you know? more you use it. And it it's true, you know. Yeah. It, you, you, he gives you something that you have that you want. So you'll work for him, you know. You'll And she wants her father alive. She wants him no matter what. Mm-hmm. She will do whatever yeah, she yeah. can. Yeah, I like this episode, just learning more about Erevos, because the mystery of Erevos, that's a title, and I love his character, so I'm like, I want to know more. He's very dangerous, but he was a good person at one point, and he is definitely a fallen star, so there's more interesting story there where I'm like, wow, he wasn't always just evil. I want to know more about what happened to make him like that, but it also sounds like through history, he was always whispering in people's ear, and he knew that he was doing corrupt things, so he's been corrupt for quite some time, manipulating people. Yes. All along, he's just leaving these little, you know, strings, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. So being one of the great ones, was he pretending to be one of the great ones? Like, he was really good at magic and being a star touch elf, but um, was he always evil from the start and he just acted like a good guy just to get what he wanted, like a Palpatine kind of thing? (laughs) Or was he, you know, did something change him? You know, like in his own life, like did he lose a loved one or something right. to make what him be like this? Him to do this? Yes, something political where it's like, oh, we want peace between races, and then something or someone went against him, mm-hmm. that's and right. that's what made him hate other people and decided to go down this darker path. I'm curious. So there's still a lot mm-hmm. to learn there. Um, but taking over Callum, you know, now they had their first initial interaction. So now that's dangerous. And how much information that Erevos had of everyone. I don't know if it's because oh, yeah. he learned through Viren. Yeah. Probably. Or just being in Callum, knowing his memories. I don't know. Not that he would label people like that, but or just a bit of both. being able yeah. to experience what he did you know Mm -hmm. Um, maybe he was able to see what he's experienced with these people and was able to you know taunt them because of it yeah and you know Soren was not really um, faced by his words you know he wasn't hurt like you know he was already hurt he he was already hurt by his father you know his actions before so 
he's already like, I already know where I belong. And this is why and he's And Bate had his back. Bate's like, I'm Absolutely. here for you. Yeah. <laughs> Bate. Absolutely. And yeah. the thing that's fun about Bate, too, is... <laughs> You know, he has, he's pretty old. I don't know how old he is, but I think they were kind of like joking about not knowing his age or something. But he also is a lot smarter. I mean, we know he's, he's smart. But he's, he really you is think wise. a pet, but yes, he, he is. is really smart. And he gets what people are talking about. Yes. And he also helps sure. like with Callum with the book. And he's like, oh, the ink, the ink. And he's like pushing the ink yes, towards him. Is, like he's yeah. very aware sure of what's going yeah. on. And I love seeing that. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, and he's always very supportive. So being That's there for right. Soren, understanding how deep those words can hurt. That's for you sure. know? Mm-hmm. So that was good. But it yeah, it seems so like him and uh, Rayla's little creature is uh, becoming friends now. They're right yeah. Together, yeah. So. Stella. Yeah. <laughs> Stella and Bate. Yeah. yeah, I like the That's that cute. cute. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, now Erevos warning everyone or taunting everyone as Callum. Does yeah, he and how often is he going to do that now, now right? Yeah, the mirror's broken, so maybe that was the only way to have that connection. But it's bad now because now they don't have that mirror anymore to know that one clue and how to get to him. Yeah, that's right. That's... No communication now. Right, and that's they don't scary. even know about the chrysalis, so yeah. that really stinks. Yeah, that's sure. right? Yeah. And then they can't keep tabs on him now with this looking glass, so, well, you know, yeah. it's... um. But I think um, Zim's mom is really, she's so knowledgeable all the way back home. She's telling about him. So it was great to have that knowledge, mm-hmm. you know. And Yeah, I like having that history lesson there yeah. and her explaining yeah. everything. And yeah. even like the um, arch dragons, they were, you know, like Ervos is so powerful that, you know, they can only do so much against him. Mm-hmm. So I think that's pretty yeah. incredible that he has that much power. Now, as we know in Zadia, there's um, different types of elves, like different mm-hmm. cultures, um, different areas, you know, where we have Moonshadow Elves, which is Rayla. We have Star Touch Elves, which we know nothing about besides Erebos. Erebos yeah. 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 And I guess they're the most powerful elves. Right. We have... Um, the Fireblood Elves, and they're, you know, with um, Janai, and they, and some of them have the ability to actually, like, you know, manipulate fire within them, like that one guy. Yes, um, that was a, a, a scary moment there. Yeah, and he lost control because he got so upset, but it is good to see those conflicts, because here, they're both right in a way, like here, his mother just died, and he believes that her spirit has to go up to their heaven, you know, and here it has to burn all night, all otherwise night it won't happen. Right. And then you have this um, human woman come out, and she built this place, and she's trying to do it as a safety thing. Like, you can't have an open flame here, which mm-hmm. I can understand that as well. But the way they're both going about it, which I felt bad for the elf, and, you know, I she, felt the human that. handled it yes. way too strongly. Yes. And he's like, I'm going to control it. Like, instead of them just fighting they should have had more people kind of work it out and be like, okay, well, we'll have a group here to contain the fire and, you know, maybe yeah, have fire and stuff to really watch it. Yeah, instead you know, of just attacking like that. She did have a valid point, but yeah, she was just too, she was too um, forceful on that. That's right. And she should have said, you know, compromise. Look, this is a fire hazard, really. I mean, I built this place, you know, I built half this place. I, archi- I was the architecture for it. It's not safe, you know, and... Um, can we move this? Is there any way we can move this and have, you know, still have the dignity, you know, do what we need to do for your, for your mother's spirit, but we need to keep everyone safe. There was like no, no wiggle room there. Yeah. I mean, or, or say like as much work as it would be, like maybe they would compromise and do like, okay, well let's move the tents a little farther out. And then we'll just have a few right. guards That's just right. like yeah. overnight, just watch it right. just to make sure with water buckets or something. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be an issue, a bigger issue now, yeah. because she disrespected something major. I mean, his mother died, and now he probably believes she's going to go to hell or go that's somewhere right. or stay neutral and limbo somewhere. Yes, and, and then he just you know, gave her what you know, what was the degree of burns they just gave her in both that's of right. her hands. Yeah. yeah. You know, she was a builder. Mm-hmm. Now that's she right. probably, you know, how long is she going to be at a commission that's for? That's for sure, yeah. You know, yeah. so, and I think he felt instantly horrible that he did, he did that. Definitely. Yeah, he just got angry and he was trying sure, to grab yeah, the bucket and she was it. holding the bucket yeah. and yeah. Um, and he burned her. He didn't so not mean to do it. Yeah. And, and overthinking it too, like there's just so many wrongs now that hopefully, I know it's going to be a bigger issue. 
it won't just be left at that, you know, because mm-hmm. it escalated so quickly mm-hmm. already. So we're going to see more of that. But I'm curious on how Janai is going to handle that. I'm sure it's going to be worse now because you have human against elf again. Oh, um, but these are the yeah. conflicts that you've got to, like, work out to yeah. find some kind of common ground. Yeah. Um, I think it's an easy thing that they can. I, I think she can call this this um, issue, you know, pretty quickly. But um, they got to get together because guess what? Erebos is right around the corner. So yeah. Changing, and yeah. they all have Not to good. get together and they have to be as one. Mm-hmm. So what I was overthinking is after she got burned that um, I was thinking that, oh, well, some elves can actually turn into that. And are they a fire hazard? You know, like it was sort of overthinking uh, that I know. as well. I thought he so was going to get, get hot headed into oh, something no, in flame, you God. know do something even more detrimental but i mean if he touches fabric with the tents will they you know combust in the flames too i mean if you have more elves enraged and i mean there's so many possibilities but her now being burned like that i feel like um there's going to be a lot more issue there it's not like it might be a permanent thing but yeah so i'm sure we're going to definitely see more of that um and hopefully everyone can come together so they're going to have to yeah they have to because um, they don't even know exactly. what they're they're up against. That's right. Yeah. You know, with what he just created. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The evil butterfly. Oh, I know, evil butterfly. butterfly. <laughs> and then Veer and talking um, to Terry and Terry like, I, I yeah. like that. Get and I'm grip. glad they opened <laughs> up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, we saw him crying exactly. before, but, yeah. you know, we saw more of... Um, and I like Terry's character, but he was a little bit more shallow to me. Like, he was a little yeah. silly and yep. not That's really right. a deep character. And then when he killed um, Ibis, well, I'm so sad about that. Yeah. Um, we saw deeper emotions That's there right. and how much yeah. he really yeah. did care for Claudia. And to openly tell Veer, and which he's, he's kind of an open book anyways, mm-hmm. yeah, Terry, yes, yes, like, yes. you know, just talking to Viren. Right. Um, but Viren's hard, you know? Like, I felt like at first maybe he would have some sympathy, but then I'm like, no, because he already has yeah, that look right. of, like, get over yourself or yeah. something. Get like, you're going to have to do that. <laughs> get yeah. a grip. Yeah. And that, and that really was, like, the strongest we That was the strongest we've seen him feel. Not, like, weak and, un, you know, right. not, yeah. that was good, you know, yeah. very weak. You know, the whole last episode, he was very mm-hmm. weak and very mm-hmm. apprehensive and paranoid. He wouldn't even touch the staff. Oh. And now, now, he's, going now to. he's like, he was like, nope, get a grip. And, you know, my wife had to sleep. But yes, now, he yeah, he's he didn't want to touch his staff yeah. at all. Yeah, he's a very different person this season. Mm-hmm. And we saw a little glimpse of the old Viren, mm-hmm. you know, when he was talking to Terry. Who knows, he might change when he said, get a grip. He might start thinking of the other He might way. Tr- start going back to his old That's ways. Right. Maybe. Get a grip. Yeah. Yeah, I got to do yeah. what you can for your family. But that's dangerous in how he says it because oh, he justifies what he does. Yeah, yeah and he did say, say you do have, family. there are consequences for those actions, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. yeah, so this was a good episode. I can't He's wait out. to see the next yeah, one. Yeah, for sure. Mirror is gone. And I do want to see Erebos soon. But I think that's going to be the biggest buildup. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we'll Definitely. see other big dragons, oh. other arch dragons. I want to see Possibly, that because yeah. they have clues. Oh. So oh, now they don't have the yeah. mirror anymore. Mm-hmm. So they have to find the clues. So we'll find out. Well, we got to find sure. out. Yes. yes. Yeah, so God. thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome. And we'll see you very soon as always. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.